If you are curious, you'll find the puzzles around you. If you are determined, you will solve them. A good puzzle is a fair thing. Nobody is lying. It's very really clear, and the problem depends just on you. You turn the cube and it twists us. Our whole life is solving puzzles. In my teaching, I enjoy creating models to clearly communicate my thoughts. The problems of puzzles are very near the problems of life. The cube can seem alive as it heats up in your hand. The fact that each face of the cube is made of three layers of three blocks has an important meaning. It was tremendously satisfying to watch this color parade. I'm still the same person, thinking the same way, so it's possible I'll invent something. I don't want to say too many words about the magic of a cube, because it's basically a mystery. It's like the Mona Lisa smile. It's both complex and very simple at the same time. And well, people like it, even today. If you are not able to do something, that is true for the present, not for the future. All the time there's a chance to go a step further, not to be frustrated. I love the simplicity of the cube because it's a very clear geometrical shape, and I love geometry because it's a study of how the whole universe is structured. But for me, it was a code I myself had invented, yet I could not read it. Like after a nice walk when you have seen many lovely sights, you decide to go home. After a while, I decided it was time to go home. Let us put the cubes back in order. And it was that, at that moment that I came face to face with the big challenge. What is the way home? When you are studying from a book, lots of people go straight to the end to look for the answer. But that's not my style. For me, the most enjoyable part is a puzzle, the process of solving, not the solution itself. I do not truly consider myself an icon, but the cube has been quite successful. But thanks to my invention, my capitalist friends and I were able to bring the government to its knees. The cube is an imitation of life itself, or even an improvement on life. Complex things, if you don't understand them, it seems complicated. If you understand them, and we know how to handle it, it became simple. And not only in Budapest, I worked very closely with a very powerful government organization who shall remain unidentified to develop the mass marketed version of the cube. I didn't give that name, the Rubik's Cube, and I called it Magic Cube because it's magic. I was somewhat out of place among my classmates. I could not be as bohemian as they were. This was such an extraordinary situation that I simply could not accept it. I'm wondering how people are so creative, and how many things were born out of and inspired by the cube. Throughout history, people have enjoyed playing both silly and clever games. Yes, but with the cube there are many flashes, there are many ahas. I feel like more like a father to, my ch to a child. My cube inspired thousands of twisty puzzles, and I am amazed how it continues to excite new generations. I'm calling the cube, it's a piece of art. At the same time, it's an intellectual task as well. I was searching for a way to demonstrate these 3D movements to my students, and one day found myself staring into the river Danube, looking at how the water moved around the pebble. This became the inspiration for the cube's twisting mechanism. The fact that it can do this without falling apart is part of its magic. The cube is approximately, it's around the same age as the internet, and at that time, we had no personal computers yet. If you find the solution with the cube, it doesn't mean you find everything. It's only a starting point. You can work on and find something else. You can improve your solution. You can make it shorter. You can go deeper and deeper and collect knowledge and many other things. I am not really a speed keeper. My best time when I was practicing 
was about a minute. Usually people say if you can create a piano, you must be a good piano player, but it is not true. They are a different type of human activity and need different capabilities. I did not plan the cube as a competitive item. I think creativity is a capability of human beings. When we're born, we're all of us has this capability, but part of us forgets to use it. I want nothing else than to make the object as perfect as possible. The cube was a wonder, a wonder for itself and a wonder for myself. To me, it was much more strange than to anybody else. Once I completed the cube and demonstrated it to my students, I realized it was nearly impossible to put it down. If you have many children, the first one is always different because you can only have one child who is the first. They have different natures and bounds for you to love. 